advantage of it. Every time you, uh, you know, we have all of our wonderful Elks programs, and every once in a while there's something that comes along that gives you the opportunity to stand on the top of that mountain and shout. Well, this is that opportunity. You're the ones that donate the money to the National Foundation. You, we, as uh, the Hoop Shoot Committee and other committees in Grand Lodge, are all to try to be excellent <laughs> stewards of your monies. Uh, and yet, sometimes you don't know really what we do. But uh, tonight, you're going to see a great representation of why we do this program. Last year at uh, the regionals in Denver, Colorado, there was an eight, nine-year-old girl that came in. She was eight years old in that age group. And she did not fare well that day. I know she was a little disappointed, but she traveled a long ways from Moreland, Wyoming to come down. She was the state champion of Wyoming. And uh, she came in fourth place. Is that correct, Tommy? And she looked over at her mom, uh, and uh, at that particular time, there was a young lady there by the name of Maggie Goltz from Nebraska. And Maggie uh, came to the uh, contest uh, in Denver again as a 12 and, or as a 10, 11 year old girl. And she looked over at her mom and uh, she saw Maggie taking and placing her name on the Hall of Fame that we have here. And if you'll notice, Maggie's got her name on there twice. And she looked down there and she looked back up at her mom and she says, I'm going to do that next year. Next year rolls around. Hoop shoot starts. We're getting ready for the state. I call Frank, and which I do, the, all the state directors, and I says, who you got coming? Who's coming this year? And I, she said, well, I've got some returning kids. And I says, is Tommy coming back? I didn't ask about anybody else. I says, is Tommy coming back? And he says, yes, she is. And I says, all right. That's great. Well, about an hour after their contest, I got news uh, by, via phone call that Tommy won, and she was on her, going to be on her way to Denver. And so I got to think in the back of my mind, all right, here we go. This is going to be a great show. We've got some really good kids from the other, four, uh, from the other three states. We have Kansas, uh, Nebraska, and Colorado also there. And uh, so we get in, and she walked in the door, and there was a big smile, a nice hug from her. It was just like last year. It just was the day before. Uh, we greeted her. They checked in at the hotel, they went off and shot some free throws, and uh, the next morning at about noon, we crowned her Region 8 champion for 2008-2009. What a, what a great feeling. Now she's back off to the Nationals as an 8-9 year old girl. Not very many kids repeat back, it's the exceptional ones. Uh, so they take off and we're going to Nationals, and, and uh, she gets up there. And I have, uh, I'm a scorekeeper. I've been a scorekeeper for about 17 years on the floor. And I've always been on the boys. So I want to know what's going on then at the other end of the, of the court. So I work out a deal with Frank. Frank's and Beth are sitting in the bleachers. They're also chaperoning some of the parents. And, and uh, normally I have a little thing with the Kansas director because he's a, a great friend of mine. And we have signals. We either uh, didn't work out, no go, or we got first, second, third, or if we're in a tie, we grab our tie. We go tie for first or tie for second. So I'm looking at the contest, and we're just getting done with the eight, nine-year-old boys, and, and naturally we have a tiebreaker to contend with there. So we're we're done. I'm looking up at Frank. And Frank's got this bewildered look on it. He doesn't even want to look at it. He's looking at Beth, and they're talking, and then, then he's, they're looking across the gym. And they look back down at me, and they ask, give me the sign. What is the sign? Nothing. So I'm sitting there, and I'm supposed to be holding my decorum. I'm out there as a regional director, and I'm supposed to be showing non-bias and, and everything. And I says, I want to know what happened down the other end. So I look around. I had an ace in the hole. And that was Del Olson. <laughs> so I look over there, I kind of get up a little higher to see. I look over there and I go, and Del shoots that arm up in the air and he was 6'8, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-four 
four out of 25 missed one basket. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> she was crowned the Getty Powell Award winner uh, at, their, uh, at the Grand Lodge Convention. She wowed the audience. She had them in the ball of her hand. She came to the hoop shoot booth uh, uh, at Portland and everybody just hovered around her. I felt kind of sorry for the young man. He was a great young man. And that's a lot of stress that's put on these kids. They're in strange circumstances. They're seeing people they've never met before and everybody wants to shake their hand. And they've got, they have celebrity status. So uh, it's, it's quite a thing. Well, she has had, she's got two of the greatest parents you'll ever want to meet. They've prepared her. And, and I don't think it was a hard job. She never turned her back on anybody. She stood and thanked everyone. She was a gracious in victory. She was gracious with all the words that they give. She has a ton of pins. And if you'll note, she would have never made it through the metal detector. <laughs> the airport. These are just these are the pins on the vest, and this is a handmade Frank Lures uh, uh, by Frank Lures uh, Garment Industries. That uh, <laughs> made that. It's fantastic, and those were all given to her by uh, Elks, and she returned and thank you to them the the uh, little cards that you see with the mints on them, and they were so impressed with that. And that's a, that was a first class young lady. So uh, she was uh, awarded the Getty Pal Award. Have you ever watched Diners, Drive Ins, and Dives? TV on the Food Network? Well, Michael Petru and some friends of his, uh, Elizabeth and myself, Grand Lodge Tyler, Charles Beekman, and his wife Carlene. We took Tommy, Dale and old Elsa out to Otto's Sausage and Meat House, which had been featured on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. We ate on the street. We had a wonderful time. The owner came out. He wanted to know what we were, what was going on. We introduced her. He grabbed Tommy, and away they went. She got a first-class tour of diner of the uh, show that was on that show. Otto's. Uh, um, sausage house and she's sitting back here this guy's got a smokehouse about seven foot tall he's got about 300 salmon uh, fillets in there smoking and Tommy's standing like this on one side of it and he's standing on the other side of it just like it it was awesome she showed great class and it was a lot of fun we had the opportunity uh, to uh, pick both uh, pick them up at the airport and return them I, I know they had a great time I'd like to take an opportunity right now to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Del Olson. Uh, thank you, Davey. Thank you. Thank you. Tommy, would you like to say a few words? Absolutely. She'll be an elk one of these days because they're never so <laughs> over with, please take the opportunity to come up and uh, greet Tommy. Uh, she has basketballs that she's going to autograph and hand out. Shake your hand. Thank you for your dedication, your uh, support, and your dollars that you give the Elks National Foundation. And uh, your donation forms are on the table. 
Uh, you'll notice uh, all of her awards are here that she received, starting from the local level all the way through. Uh, this is the George B. Klein Award for the high shooter at the girls' competition in, in Denver. And of course, she was awarded the Getty Powell Award for the highest uh, girl shooter at the national uh, contest. Also, she was awarded the basketball that she shot him with. So that was uh, that was quite an honor. I gotta go to my notes. <coughs> Kevin, would you come forward, please? It's your. How you doing? You ready to come play for Lander? <laughs> Tommy, we are so very proud of you, Wyoming Elks Association. We uh, we heard about your accomplishments, and we decided back in May that we were going to present you with a very special gift. So I called my friend Kevin Ward here, who has some ties with the University of Wyoming. And the University of Wyoming women's basketball team and their coach, Joe Ligurski, have signed a ball for you. And we'd like to present that to you now. We're very proud of you. to uh, have the exalted ruler of the Warland Elks Lodge and the district deputy of this dis of her district please come forward. Tommy would like to present uh, the Warland Elks Lodge, a plaque in memento of uh, your support. This plaque is given by the Elks National Foundation to the uh, national champions of the Elks National Free Throw Contest. Tommy, may I read it please? It says, Tommy Olson, 2009 national champion, Elks National Hoop Shoot Contest, girls division, eight and nine year old. Score 24 to 25. Sponsored by Warlands Elks Lodge, 1908. May you hang this proudly in your lodge. Thank you. We got one more piece of business, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Our
Our Hoop Shoot Hall of Fame for Region 8 is missing a name. <coughs> Tommy, I'd like for you to put your name on Hall of Fame. Tonight, our grand, uh, past Grand Exalted Driller mentioned a statement that's very fitting at this time. Elks make a difference. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there that uh, wonder, you know, we've been doing this hoop shooting program for so many years. Does it really make a difference? I'm here to tell you that it does. I have a, uh, I have a speech I've uh, I've written, so everything else was off the cuff, but I, I, gotta, I have to read this. 28 years ago, 1980-81, was the last year there was a national champion crown from uh, Wyoming. That's quite a dry spell. But those that were crowned from Wyoming, they were the best of the best. They were the Getty Powell Award winners. Have you ever taken time to think about whatever became of your last champion? She was, she represented Casper Elks Lodge. Her name was Tanya Jorgensen, 12 and 13 year old girl. She was from Douglas, Wyoming. She shot nine out of 10 and 14 out of 15 to win the national title and the Getty Powell Award. She received her Getty Powell Award at the Grand Lodge Convention in Jul Las Vegas in July of 1981. Raymond Arnold was installed as Grand Azola Ruger that year. Now, if you remember that, how old does that make you? <laughs> Whatever became of that young lady, does anybody know? Tanya went on to play girls basketball for Douglas High School. She played on the Chase State Championship basketball team for each of the four years she was there, taking top honors three of those four years. And this was before the three-point line was installed and before they started using the 28.5 basketball. She was then awarded a full-ride basketball scholarship to attend the University of Missouri at Columbia. She went on to the big dance while playing for Missouri, but this was back when the league was known as the Big Eight, now the Big 12. She graduated from Missouri University and started teaching biology and coaching basketball at Hickman High School in Columbia, Missouri. This is her 20th year of teaching at Hickman. And she has just completed her 18th year, 18th year as coaching basketball. Four years as an assistant coach and 14 as a head coach. Teaching and coaching has been her passion. Basketball has given her a platform to teach values to teenage girls. She continues to have long life relationships with many of her former players. Tanya states, that the Elks Hoop Shoot Contest jump-started her in this direction. And all of those memories are still just like yesterday. She is currently teaching and coaching at Hickman High School. She's married to Doug Mertz, a native, native, of, native of Columbia, Missouri. He is also an educator. They have two wonderful children, Carly, 15, and Kelsey, 11. She sends her greetings to all the wonderful Elks of Wyoming and thanks them, them for their involvement with the youth of America. And I quote from her, the Elks Lodge is truly a wonderful organization. Miss Mertz sends her best to Tommy and hopes that she will see her next year at the finals. Now I hope all of you were just paying attention to what I just said. <laughs> I hope I haven't lulled you to sleep. With the permission of Cam Cronk, National Director of the Elks Free Throw Contest, I am proud to announce that Miss Tanya Jorgensen Mertz will again grace the stage of the 
2010 Elks Free Throw Contest in finals in Springfield, Massachusetts as its guest speaker. Oh my wow. Now, each and every one of you uh, see how important this program is. And this is just one of the many important programs we do as Elks. We have the uh, most valuable student contest, the drug awareness, the soccer shoot, and of course the hoop shoot. It does touch all the youth of our country and it does work. And that's why your state has a national champion. I hope that I get to live another number of years to where as I can hope to see Tommy Olson grace the stage as its speaker in the future. I thank you. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. Tommy has some basketballs that she would like to sign. Kevin, I turn the program back to you. That was a formal invitation to go to him. <laughs> Randy, thank you very much. I think it would behoove us all to look at that car in front of you and realize what your donations to ENF do. And if you see fit, make sure and get that filled out before we leave this weekend. Another thing, I don't think they receive enough accolades. Um, Tommy's parents, you've done an awesome job. We need more parents like you in this country. Thank you very much. With that, we'll let Tommy have her time tonight. Is there any other business for the banquet before I turn it back over to Tim? Hello, honey. 